And then hopefully the Rage is able to force the Goblin Giant forward really, really fast. And then the Roar Recruits there is going to charge onto the tower. He messes up his tornado. Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. So today I'm one game away from League 10 and what better deck to play than Goblin Giant. So we're going to start it slow with the Ice Spirit here in the back and see what he's got if nothing this is going to be okay he goes with log i'll definitely definitely wait let's see what he has for us i don't think it's gonna be anything that i want oh wow okay I'm gonna go with uh mini pekka i think that still enables the hog to get one hit i'm gonna go with goblin giant here in the front if he's got anything uh any heavy hitters we're gonna go with rage right here i think that's gonna help mini pekka should finish that up he goes to tornado so we still get we still do get a hit off um onto that tower or the spear goblins do i didn't see but we're in a pretty good position and we kind of figure out what he has so royal recruits is going to be pretty pretty rough going into this but he did just play executioner so we're going to go with royal recruits here in the back and if he goes with hog i always have the ice spirit here to buy some time doesn't look like he's going to go with that he's going to go with the log instead and I think with this, I'm going to have to force um, opposite lane um, as much as possible just because of the, um, the Executioner. Yeah, the Executioner right there. So we're going to go with Little Prince here going down the right lane. Always, always switching things up. I'm expecting him to go with the Hog Rider. So I'm going to go with um, Baby Dragon like this. And I think because of that, Hog Rider will get two hits. Um, but we should have a pretty decent counter push on both lanes gonna go with the little prince ability uh push everything back and mini Pekka gets brought to the king tower so very well played by our opponent right there i don't think i'm gonna really respond to this valkyrie that king tower is down about half health so that's pretty wild gonna go with the goblin giant here pull everything back gonna go with ice spirit um and then we're gonna go with the fireball and i think we should be okay oh wow Almost perfectly timed that. That would have finished up the rest of the goblins. We're going to go with Little Prince right here. And then... We're going to go with the Little Prince ability. Going to go with Baby Dragon right here. And I think... Forcing out the rocket. Okay. I think we should be okay. Baby Dragon takes forever to finish out the uh, Executioner. So that's pretty bad for us. We're going to cycle uh, Royal Recruits back here. Going to go Mini Pekka. And I think... It still gives up a hit. So... We're going to have to wait till last minute. He's going to go with Executioner. I'm um, going to go Goblin Giant here on this side. Going to go with the Ice Spirit. And then going to go with the Rage. And then hopefully the Rage is able to force the Goblin Giant forward really, really fast. And then the Royal Recruits there in the is going to charge onto the tower. He messes up his Tornado. I think that might be good game well played. One more hit, so that's really good for us. That's two Fireballs away. So we're going to have to play some really, really solid defense. And we're going to go with Little Prince right here. I'm expecting him to go with uh, Hog Rider. So we're going to go very, very aggressive right here. And we're going to go Baby Dragon. And we're going to go with Rage right here as well. Okay, forcing out that uh, evil uh, Ice Spirit, which is really good for us, actually. And we're going to go split Roll Recruits right here. And then I think we're going to go with the Goblin Giant. And he really is going to have to defend this, else it's going to be a race to the finish. And I am very, very confident that we're going to be able to pull out ahead. So we're going to fireball everything right now. We're going to rage. And that right there is going to be League 10. Man, just like that. Feels really nice. Let's hop into another one. All right, hop into another match here. Our opponent drops us with a good luck. We'll give him a good luck as well. We'll go with Royal Recruits. Let's see what he's got. So, Firecracker. Um... I'm just going to fireball it at the bridge, not going to deal with it. So negative one trade for us. So that means we have a, essentially an eight elixir royal recruit on the field. He goes with E-Wiz, um, Mega Knight. So this is definitely not looking that great. So we're going to have to play this quite smart. I'm going to go with Little Prince first. We have to finish up the E-Wiz because that's going to cause us a lot of problems. I'm going to go Ice Spirit for the Hog Rider, and Mini Pekka does finish out the uh, Mega Knight, which is really good. So not a really good start for us. If he doesn't do anything, Mini Pekka is going to get a shot off. I think that was a massive mistake on his end. That's a thousand damage from one swing. Okay, 
So he's gonna get rid of his mini P.E.K.K.A. which is really good for us because we have Goblin Jar in our hand and that's really not gonna do much of anything against the Royal Recruits. So Royal Recruits gonna start dashing onto the uh, Firecracker. I don't think it finishes, finishes that one off, but I think that left one will. So that's really good for us and forcing out the E-Wiz, that's gonna be E-Wiz down. Both Royal Recruits are going to get onto the tower. I really thought that would've been a dash. Kind of surprised actually. I'm gonna go with Goblin Jar right now and expecting him to go with Mega Knight. So, oh, what the heck? He's got Mega Knight and Infernal Tower. I've seen some really, really odd decks lately. Not gonna lie. Gonna go Mini P.E.K.K.A. I think I might have been a tad slow. Yeah, a tad slow, unfortunately. So he's able to get a hit off with the Hog. Sometimes the split seconds, all that matters. If he doesn't respond, okay. I was about to say, if he doesn't respond again, that would have been, that would be a massive gaffe on his part. Baby Dragon should be able to finish off the Mini P.E.K.K.A. Gonna go with the Ice Spear to draw everything back. Just in case, Ice Spirit will still jump onto that tower, and we are pretty good. So, we're going to go with Little Prince, and we're going to try to get the Little Prince ability down, which should knock back the uh, the Ram Rider, which is really good. And he's still going to have to respond to this. Most likely going to go with Mega Knight, if I had to guess. Um, oh, going to go with Ewis. Okay, I'll definitely take that. Going to go Royal Recruits. Going to go uh, Mini P.E.K.K.A. This is my full counter to the... Uh, Mega Knight, but I think we should be okay here. I'm gonna go with Goblin Giant on the right side because I'm expecting him to go, yeah, Mega Knight right there. Um, oh wow, actually brings it back. So we're gonna go with Rage right here, forcing out the Mini P.E.K.K.A. We're really gonna have to be able to be, we're gonna have to really, really focus up to be able to defend this. So we're gonna go with Little Prince right here. We're gonna go uh, Royal Recruits. We're gonna go Ice Spirit as well to prevent that thing from charging, which is gonna cause a lot of mayhem for us. And we'll go Mini P.E.K.K.A. at the bridge, finish off the uh, the Firecracker. We're going to rage this up. I think that's going to be good game, well played. That e -Wiz got absolutely deleted. Good game, well played. This deck is disgusting. Let me know what you think down in the comment sections below. If you guys like this video, please like, comment, subscribe for more. And I'll see you next time.